Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. John, 14. No, who are you? I don't know. I'm lost. <laughs> Alright, let's start this again. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm lost. Alright, in the chapel. Oh, I know where I'm at. I'm in the chapel, actually. That's right. Alright, what's I our I will final? not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. John. John, 14, 18. I already told him that part. No, we started over, remember? Oh, yeah. Grab you a snack. Let's have us a little chat. I will never leave thy nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what men shall do unto me. What is that one? Hebrews 13, 5, and 6. Ah. Teach. So. I guess reading lesson. What's it mean? For today. What's it mean? Which one? Well, the first one, because that was our Bible verse, but hey. Oh, good, because I don't remember the second one. I just read it. Mm -hmm. The one where he won't leave you comfortless? He will not leave us comfortless. He will always come to you. In other words, you're never alone, right? Right. All right. So you we may got just be in transit. Chocolate chip cookies that I made? Pop, right? Yep. You have pop? You have pop? No, nope, I'm good. I've got <laughs> my pop. Would you like a pop? I got my soda. Oh, okay. I got my cola right here. All right, in the barn stalls, what has been going on? Oh, we've been doing a little measuring. No, what's barn stalls is with the animals. What? Oh. What's going on with the animals? It's your your little report here. I'm thinking here. The horses all got new shoes. Mhm. Mm got the feet trimmed up. Uh huh. Huh. Any horsey issues? No. Do they have a baby yet? No. Which means? It's the same old, same old. What does that mean? She must not be bred, folks. Yep, that's pretty much the consensus. Oh, in the barn stalls, we got some pumpkins in. That would kind of fall in there, right? Mm-hmm. We're yep. feeding them to the sheepies. And the pigs. Yeah, and the pigs. And the dogs. Yeah, the dogs started eating too. Well, the first night that they were introduced to them, what happens? They just barked at them. They barked at the whole pile. They just... <laughs> the dogs aren't too bright, folks. <laughs> but mm, the one's funny. a little loopy at times. You know, Moose, just... that's enough. And then it's the little yapper Carl. over there, the yapper. He just, he don't even have like a pea brain. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Moose is still eating, but the two, once you put them in their kennel, they go out. Let's see if we can turn it around and just put them in there. They've been outside a lot today, haven't they? Uh-huh. So, all right. So, really nothing else going on. Breeding season still going on. Mm -hmm. um, we have not found a new Shetland, so the Gotland is just running on them, right? Yep. Anything else? Any goats? No. Okay, so the fall breeding didn't work. We had two sheep and two goats that were exposed for a fall program that didn't take. So we're just going to stick to the spring thing because obviously we can't figure out the fall one, right? Mm -hmm. The spring thing worked for us. Mm -hmm. We just thought if we could spread it out, then we could like not have to work our butts off during spring so much but that didn't work did it because nope. the two ewes that came in late were supposed to be bred and so but the thing is is that by November 1st if they hadn't had them he knew they weren't going to have them so November 1st is coming gone granted they can be up to a week late but pretty much bidet isn't even bagged up is she mm -mm. and those two ewes haven't bagged up nope and the goats haven't bagged up. So if they haven't bagged up, but. not happening. So we're pretty sure they're not bred. So they're in with the boys now for breeding season again, right? Um, mending fences. We have kind of a new wall. Uh -huh. What happened to the wall, son? Moose ate all on it. Why? What happened? Because so there's a mouse. There's a mouse in the wall, so our dogs ate a hole in the wall. Yes, the mouse. Well, Moose went after the wall, but then the two 
big dogs got in there and kind of ripped oh. all that big in the wall. So now we have a nice wood one. I just have to get it caulked and painted, and it'll be fine, right? Mm -hmm. So it even has trim on it. It worked, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All right, so what else mending fences? Anything else you have to fix? Mm -hmm. What? I had to fix fence the top one of the, the pasture wire. Mm -hmm. I had to fix the lunch. Okay. First off, you didn't have to fix lunch. I had a, a brisket sandwich made for you, and then I, I fixed dinner. You fixed dinner. Oh, wow. Actually, I fixed it. You cooked it. Oh, well. Anyway. So, all right. What else? Mending fences. Anything else that had to be repaired, fixed around here? Uh-huh. What? You fixed some cookies. <laughs> That's in the farmhouse. Oh. Anything that had to be fixed for the farm. Hmm. Anything that tore up, broke down. Oh yeah. What? I'm broke down. I need a nap. Okay, come on. We're not getting very far. Okay, in the yarn well, farm. Well, shifter in Lamego, high gear. Right, and I have a visitor that had to cancel a couple of weeks ago for the um, life lab kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And she'll be here. We hope Thursday, but mm -hmm. it's kind of a repeat, mm -hmm. right? We're shifting this podcast into high gear. Okay, anything I'm else in the yarn farm? Going in the wrong year. Okay, first off, folks, I'm just going to say, it is a day okay, I'm in the right gear now. Let's go fast, 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 fast. Okay, just put it in neutral. Dude, shut it down. Is that too fast for you folks? I really like to go fast. How is this? A little better. This is called normal speed. Okay. I put it in low thinking that was high. <laughs> then I put it in high. Now we're All back right. to normal. So, first off, this is a day late. And we're and a tired. dollar short. <laughs> we're a day late and a dollar short. We had a lot going on in the farmhouse that we'll tell you here in a few minutes. But, anyway. So, <laughs> yarn farm. Everything is pretty much just breeding season. He, you're practicing roping, right? Mm -hmm. Um in the field. I still have my gourds out in the garden. Um, I haven't been out there this week. It's been super rainy, so but not down to freezing yet. So until it does freezing, I shouldn't have any more brown stems. So we're hoping. Um, all right, in the farmhouse. That's that's. We've got fast forwarded. Get over here. Quit playing in the mirror. I took my contacts out already because it's late. It's not really late, but it's. It's eight o'clock. For us, it's late. But okay. it feels like 9 o'clock because it, it's say like daylight savings yes. time. In the farmhouse. So, it was number one. We shifted back an hour. Daylight savings time. Now, explain to animals that when 6 o'clock comes, it's not 7 o'clock and it's not food time. Right? Mm -hmm. They are not understanding that. And they're not understanding that in the morning either, are they? So, when it hits... What, five o'clock? It's daylight at six now instead of seven. Yeah. But do you do chores at six? Not always. <laughs> no. So, anyway. So that happened. And then we had a family birthday party, right? Mm -hmm. He's a family friend or family, adopted family. Yep. Papa. Yep. Um, he's the man that walked me down the aisle, but he's not my biological father. Matter of fact, he's just a love father, I guess. I don't know. Um, my family of love, I don't know what to call them, but I have three brothers by that family and a mom and a dad, and they are the ones that always are there. Weddings, birthdays, yeah. everything. So, um, he turned 80 this weekend right yep so friday i went and decorated that 
for that they rented a building and we had a bunch of food and a big party decorated Friday night got up Saturday had to take stuff to there that they didn't tell me they needed and I'm the one that has it if they told me they need it I would have taken it Friday but um, so Saturday we got there finished that stuff and then had the actual party RJ roped so he didn't get to see pop off and that's his fishing buddy so Sunday after it was over well okay so Saturday after the party then we had to take all the food to Nana and Papa's house um, and get it all cleared out and clean up the building and blah 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 and then Sunday because he didn't get to see Papa after he worked and went and caught how many rogue cows uh, five. five or six he caught five of the six that were supposed to be caught but Anyway, tell us what happened with that. This is Sunday morning. This is going on. Is that in? Is are we in the right um uh, segment? Mm-hmm. Okay, I just want to double check. Talk, talk. I have been talking. If you haven't noticed, see my lips are moving. There's sound coming out. I'm talking. Unless tell them about Sunday morning. Oh, okay. Sunday morning. I got up at daylight. Mm-hmm. Went and fed a bunch of cows. For. For your uncle. uncle. Went and I kind of which, by the way, has nothing to do with the Love family. That is Dad's brother-in-law, right? Right, right, right. Okay, these are mine. Yeah, Dad decided I went and fed for them because they were out of town. Then I went and borrowed a buddy's trailer of mine because uh, our trailer uh, I he tore up. up. <laughs> yeah, there you go, mending fences. You didn't bring yeah. that up, did you? Well, no, I tried to forget about that stuff. <laughs> okay, I went so. and borrowed one of his trailers because I tore ours up. Uh, <laughs> Bring it home the pumpkins. pumpkins. And then I went and caught horses and I went to catch them. I took dad with me to catch the rogue cows. And what it is is this gentleman had purchased, what did you say, 20 cows? Uh, I think there was 20, 25 of them. 20 or 25 of these uh, kids that had never seen people before. And he spooked them on accident and they ran, they busted through a pipe it's fence. Funny. It, it's it is trying to funny. feed them. He was he trying to metal feed, feed bunks. And if for you guys that don't know, they sell these things called cubes for cattle. They're and pellets. They're, they're like huge big, pellets. They're big pellets. I mean, like, well, not as big as that. Yeah, they're as big as that pin. Maybe a little bit shorter Only, and a little bit fatter. Yeah. They're and about they're like this that, size. They're about that long. Yeah. Like the, that probably the cap. The cap. Yeah. Probably they're like that. Yeah. Well, when they hit things, they go. Thum, 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 thum. Well, he took a bag of them and just slung it down a metal, metal feed, feed trough. Bump. So it sounded like, boom, 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 boom. And they ran through And these fence. cattle went everywhere. They, they tore down a pipe fence. They tore down a pipe fence. Two, they went through, through two, two barbed wire, wire fences. fences. And then RJ finally got them wrangled. And they were almost three miles from where they started. <laughs> and the guy called me on my way over there. And we were probably 20 minutes away. And he says, my neighbor just called. They're in her yard and then by the time we got there they were over a mile from there she says they left headed west mm -hmm. <laughs> hey did you know it's 66 and a half inches from our dining room table to the ceiling at an angle because my tape measure is not straight okay so that happened Sunday morning and then Sunday after you got home I had brought a plate of brisket home yeah. right and some cake for him and then he we went to town to do what go see papa yep and i got i got him a card and you got him a card right yep. well and sister got him a card too but anyway so what did your card say it had a frog on it right on yep. a lily pad well it's five foot and half an inch from the dining room table to the ceiling <laughs> Okay. Now, it's even touching. Tell us about your card that you got yeah. for Papa. Okay, we get it. Quit. You're gonna make him drunk. Okay. It's tight. Okay. It's tight. Tell him about him your tight. card. I'm gonna Chilling. slap you. I'm gonna slap you. I got moving to the camera. Look, it's tight, folks. No, you just <laughs> woke the dogs up. Now. Tell them about what kind of card you got, Papa. What was the picture on the front? It was a froggy. On a lily pad, right? It was a little froggy. And, and what did it say? It says, the older you get. And then you opened it up and it said, said. 
The younger you make me look. And what did Papa say? He just chuckled. He liked that one. Yep. Um, and then I got him a card that had the face of a donkey on it, and it says, Dad, happy birthday. And the donkey has on, like, shades that are, like, foil. They're just silver, you know. And you open it up, and it says, from your smart-ass kid. That would be me. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm always the one cutting up and getting them all in trouble. But it's because I can. <laughs> Correct? Yep. Yeah. So, um, Colleen, as a matter of fact, Nana, mm -hmm. she has this screen that you can hear it a mile away. Christy! <laughs> yep. We know that screen well, don't we? Yep. Um, so we did that. We went up there and hung out and we ate some more cakes. I don't think I've eaten so much in a weekend. How many times did I eat? I don't know. I didn't. How many times did you eat yesterday? Oh. Three. Yeah. I mean, every time. All after like three o'clock. I know. Well, and you had part of it. So I didn't the eat anything before. in the morning. No, but the day before you had. I didn't have any. I didn't eat any Friday or Saturday. Then yeah, Sunday. Did. No, I didn't. What'd you eat? She did. Saturday, I got up. I brought uh, that stuff home Saturday, but you didn't eat it Saturday. Then gone. you ate it Sunday because you were gone. So he didn't hardly eat anything Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday, you had what? Three brisket sandwiches, cake, roasted marshmallows. <laughs> Yep, and then and some green beans and bacon. Green beans with bacon and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and then of course I ate a little bit at the party, and then when Jake and I got home or got to mom and dad's house, he started piecing again, and him and I found ourselves in the kitchen. P Wait, hang on, what's pizza? P this piece. Piece. Oh, there's a piece. piece. What's this thing? That's I love you. Oh. <laughs> this is piece. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Um, but anyway, we were. Peace. The, no. Peace out, dude. No, this is oh. I Love You. Oh. Hmm. Peace, Peace is this one. Hmm. Is it this or is no. it this? This. Peace. Peace. Peace, man. That's I love you. That's peace. Put your thumbs down. That's I love you. With What's the this? thumbs up. This. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, but anyway, Jake and I just <laughs> ended up peace and we were talking and then he'd eat something and then it would look good. And he'd say, here, have a bite. And then I'd have to take it on plate. And then he'd load it up with more stuff that I didn't really want. Right? And then somehow we ate. I wasn't. Yeah. Again, and then ice cream never got used at the party, so Papa had to have ice cream. Well, then, of course, if Papa had ice cream, Jake and I had to have ice cream. <laughs> so we just kind of snacked endlessly from the time we got to the house till the time I left, like, what, 11? I don't know. I wasn't there. You can ask okay. me questions, but I can't answer them. I think it was about 11. Because that's when I came home. But the time change made it 10 when I got home. Really? See? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Time and change then, freaked me out. It only took me an hour to drive. <laughs> two hours. <laughs> there, look at my phone. It's almost midnight. We're driving down the road. Stop and get gas. Get back in the truck. Look at my phone. It's 11 o'clock. Whoa. <laughs> Do, 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 do. <laughs> like all of his texts flip back and so I've never seen it happen so I don't ever pay attention to it but yeah. like everything flipped back and he was freaking out mm -hmm. about it he's like it's weird <laughs> yeah one thrust an hour and make a two hour drive so anyway alright anything else going on in the farmhouse hmm hmm no not really not really alright I think that's about Bye, it. Bye, folks. See you later. No, it is not now time. It's bedtime. Yeah. So, well, it's you're getting ready to take it. Yeah, that's because you just unplugged it. See, so you're pulling on the okay. tablecloth. I switched from Halloween decorations to just fall. So now I just have Thanksgiving, right? Mm -hmm. 
And then after Thanksgiving, I start with peace Christmas. Peace out, dude. Peace out, Girl Scout. Yeah, peace out, Girl Scout. All right, we're done. We will talk to you guys later. And hope to see you in the next video. Well, I really hope oh, wait, I don't we're not see Daniel, you. are we? I really hope I don't see you guys. If I do, we're in a world of trouble. <laughs> I, mean, if I, I mean, unless you like come visit the farm, then I hope I see you. But I mean, if I see you while I'm making the next video, you'll see us. Yeah, you'll see us when we make not it. SCU. Not CSU. If we are not CSU. Yeah, it's not CSU. Nope, nope. I don't know what that means, but.